hi guys welcome to my youtube channel so if you're joining us for the first time on this channel this channel is the best place for tech newbies entrepreneurs and content creators so stay tuned as we continue so today's section i'm going to be showing you the exit ways on how to add products with stock controller and just in case you didn't watch my previous video on how to get a stock controller app you could get that right in the comment section so once you open your dashboard, once you log in, you're going to see your homepage. This is what it's going to look like, depending on if there are items in your inventory already. And then um, just something very quick to do. You go to the quick links and you slide up. Okay. Then go to your account details. That's if you want to change your account details, you come here. Then you could add your business logo so your dashboard is customized. You could add your business logo, your first name, you could change that. You could also change your username as well as your email. Once you're done, you could leave this. So let's go into adding products. So what you do with that, you go to the three dash at the top corner. And then you click on that and you're going to have this. So go to my data. Once you go to my data, you're going to see warehouse, product type, product type, and products, providers, and clients, which implies you have to start adding um this you have to start with adding your warehouse your prototype your products your providers and then your clients so let's see how we're going to do that by the way go to add data once you go to add data the first thing you would want to do is to add the warehouse now what this implies is if you have the friends storage places or shopping malls or the friend shop centers you have to add each of them like you have for the friend business locations and for the friend shopping malls or your business are located at different places you're going to enter each of them so i want to use um i want to say my first shopping mall is at legos so legos shopping legos shopping mall one then if you have a code for each of your shopping mall you would enter that let's say ls1 then description, I wouldn't want to add a description, but you could add a description for your shopping mall. Of course, you know your business. Then you enter the location where yeah, it is, Lagos, then save this. So this has been added successfully. Then if you want to add another one, you could do that right away. So let me just add this very quickly. And let's say the code is um is ISM. Let's leave the description and just enter location. Then we'll save this. So once you're done adding your warehouse, the next thing you'll want to do is to go back to add data and then add your prototype. Now this is very important if you want to categorize your product. Like if you sell the firm products, categories of product and it's gonna help in your inventory. Like if you sell just one line of product and you could just add that one line of product, okay? But in this case we're going to be adding some different products. We are going to start with cosmetics. And let's say it's called as cost. And of course you know what the description is, okay? Description of your cosmetic line. So we're going to save this the prototype have been added. Then you could add other prototypes. Um, I want to add the second one, um, fashion. There's another product line, and it's actually known as fax. So I'm going to save that. And the third one I want to enter will be, let me see, into drugs, medicines. And it's known as Nate. Then you save that. Um, probably um, accessory. Um, accessory. So save that. So we've entered um, the different prototypes we'll be using. Then um, you go back to your add data and then you add your products. At this point, you're going to add each product. Okay. Um, you write the name of your product, you write the code. You write, um, let's see, the name of this product is K, and the code is K. Now, is it in units, kg, pounds, meter? You enter the measurement. Just for that particular, let's just put units here. 
then what category of product you see that's why we enter the product type first so what category of product in this case we're going to say another thing and then um unit price what's the cost of the product so let's just say 800 naira and then the tax applied to it let's say two percent tax is applied a lot now based a lot when inventory is below is in case you're a kind of a very busy person and you want to know when your stock is now um below 10 products or below um five products so that you're informed you're not carrying um you're not aware of something like you don't have time to keep checking your product over and over again that's going to be very important so maybe when the product gets below five you're going to be informed that your product is now below five so you could add more products then um this description is for description of the particular drug that the carry care okay but i won't be entering that then if you use barcode for your business you could enter your barcode but in this case i'm not using that then you could add your products um add the photo of the product if you want to so you could choose from the gallery or you choose from the photos your product line let me see if i can get a picture that i'll be adding there so let's see Okay, so let me add this. Good. So once you add this, you're going to say it reflect there. Okay, then at this one, we're going to save. But if you have your barcode, you can scan your barcode, as you can see at the top. So we're going to save this. That has been added. That product has been added. This is how you're going to add your different line of products. You enter another product. Um, You could keep adding products you could decide to add more products but as many products as you have then the next we're going to go to is the ad provider so um you're going to add those um, persons that supply goods to you all right like where you order your goods so you know your providers especially when you have the different distributors different product lines um for this one i'm going to be adding jumia Jumia and the code is Jim and description. I want to add description. Then, if you do have a VAT number, you do add that. You can add the email of the supplier. Then, um, add the, the number of the supplier. Then, address. Then, um, you add the zip code then you add the city and after that um you could save this so once you save this the provider will be added then one of the last things you want to add is um add data then add clients that's the last thing so you're going to add your clients okay one by one how many clients do you have you could add them to the list let's just make a sample um okay so there's the name of my client if the client do have a code description of the client email the email of the client um there's the email of the client then the phone number of that client then um enter the address the zip code and the city and then you save all right so in this case good the clients have successfully been added. So we this would say we've added the clients and everything needed to start our inventory here, the way how the product type, the product provider and the clients. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also turn on your notifications so you could get every single video I drop and gain more value. I would love to hear from you in the comment section.